welcome students today we are going to see sorting today we are going to see a next data structure operation that is sorting so what is in by sorting sorting today we are going to see sorting what is in by sorting sorting stand for rearranging the elements rearranging rearranging the elements rearranging the elements in desired manner in desired manner that is alphabetically or numerically so sorting stand for sorting stand for rearranging the elements alphabetically or numerically so there are various sorting techniques like quick sort bubble sort radix sort bucket sort hip sort so these are the techniques these are the sorting techniques now every technique is having its own method of sorting so sorting stand for rearranging the elements in desired manner desired manner that is alphabetically or numerically so suppose we are having the data of numbers so numbers can be rearranged in ascending order or descending order similarly we are having suppose list of some names so names can be uh, sorted in ascending order or descending order thus there are various techniques to sort but we are having the bubble sort technique to use for sorting bubble sort now what is the mechanism of a bubble sort what is the mechanism of bubble sort mechanism of bubble sort we have to see so how the bubble sort works let there is data 12 8 9 0 5 so number of elements are n that is 5 here state number 1 state number 1 in state number 1 we will compare first element with second element and if we have to sort it in ascending then a should be brought here 12 will here now 12 and 9 so 9 will be here after comparison with 12 12 and 0 0 will be here the 12 will appear here 12 versus 5 How will be here and twelve will be here. How twelve eight swap eight twelve twelve nine nine twelve twelve zero zero twelve twelve five five twelve and after the step number one, you can see the largest number has bubbled up. Bubbled up it means it has occupied its position where it should be. in the five elements it should be at fifth position but you see remaining all are there so state number 2 a versus 9 no change 9 versus 0 0 9 9 versus 5 comparison 5 will be here 9 will be here 
9 and 12. We need not to compare. Why? Because we know that the largest element has occupied its position that is fifth position. That's why obviously that last element is having its own position. It has occupied. Since it is the largest element, it has occupied its position. So there will not be any change. And if you compare 9 versus 12, what will happen? It will remain as it is. That's why we need not to compare. The step number 3. 8 versus 0. 0 will be here, 8 will be here. 8 versus 5, 5 will be here and 8 will be here. 8 versus 9, actually need not to compare because after the second number step, second largest element has occupied its position. Step number 4, 0 versus 5, no change. 5 versus 8, no change. Largest element has occupied its position. Now, step number 1, step number 2, step number 3, step number 4, 0 and 5, step number 1, step number 2, step number 3, step number 4, now you can see, for number of elements there 5, number of steps, number of steps, are 4. If number are 10, then step number 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. So we can say number of steps is equal to m minus 1. Is that it? Now, we are going to see how many comparisons are there. In step number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Step number 2, 1, 2, 3. Step number 3, 1, 2. And step number 4. Only one comparison is there. So, here, step number 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. And only one. Because then, largest element has a 0 or 7, 5, 10. So, number of comparisons. Number of comparisons. In step number one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Step number two, one, two, three. Three, one, two. Only one. Total number of comparisons. So, step number one, four comparisons. So, number of comparisons. Number of comparisons in nth step is equal to n minus step number. Example, number of comparison in say n is equal to 3. So, n is 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 comparisons will be there. You see? One, two, two comparisons are there. One, two. Step number one. Five minus one, four comparisons will be there. One, two, three, four. Total number of comparisons, ten. So formula number one, formula number two, formula number, number of steps, number of comparisons, total number of comparisons, total. Number of comparisons is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2. So, take down these formulas. Now, we will see the mechanism. What the mechanism? Step number 1 compare first element with second. So give the name to the array. Data 1, data 2. See if the name of the array is data. Compare data 1 with data 2 and swap 
if data one is greater than data two. Then compare data one with data two. Data two is data three. How long until we compare data n minus one with data n? So after this step, n minus one comparison will be there. Yeah, minus one comparison should be there, and largest element will occupy its position. Largest element will bubble up. Then step number two, repeat the same step but one less comparisons. That is, we compare last comparison is data n minus two with n minus one. Second largest element bubble up, occupy its position. Step n minus one because here is five steps are four. So after the completion of four steps. Data will be sorted. Zero five eight nine five. So take down this. <coughs> Now we will see mechanism as well as algorithm. Not only mechanism, but also algorithm. <coughs> First mechanism. Mechanism. Suppose a list of numbers, mechanism. Suppose list of numbers. L is one, L is two. Step number one. Compare LS one with LS two. Compare LS one with LS two. And swap or arrange them in desired order. And arrange them in desired order. Desired order. Then compare LS two with LS three. LS three. Largest element is bubble up. 
लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इज मोबाइडा मोबाइडा Largest element is bubbled up. It means it has occupied its position. Step number one. Now step number two. What to do? We have to repeat same step, but one less complete. Repeat step one. Repeat step one. With one less comparison. So here we stop. That is, we stop and we stop after comparing. After comparing, L is n minus two. With L is n minus one. With L is n minus. So this was the last uh, comparison because in first step, L is n minus one was compared with L is n. Now here L is n minus two is compared with L is n minus one. Here after this step, after this step. After this step, second largest element bubbled up. Second largest element bubbled up. Is bubbled up. Is bubbled up. Now, how many steps are there? We know for n number of elements, then five elements was there, four steps was there. So here step number one, step number two, dot dot dot, step. n minus 1 so in this step we know that only one comparison is there compare l is 1 with 2 after the completion of after the completion of n minus 1 states Data will be sorted. Data will be sorted. So this is the mechanism and the formulas we have taken already. So need not to write uh, the formulas once again. That if total number of elements were n, then how many total number of steps will be there? How many comparisons will be in each step as well as total number of comparisons? So three formulas we have taken down. Now we are going to see the algorithm. So in examination. You have to read the question carefully whether mechanism is asked or the algorithm. So uh, some students get confused that uh, when question is asked, write down the algorithm. They write the mechanism, and if mechanism is asked, they write the algorithm. So read the question carefully. Don't forget. Okay, we will see the algorithm now. Now in algorithm we know that we have to carry out the same steps which we have seen. And we know that algorithm must have algorithm. Algorithm. So here data is an array. Here data is an array. Here. Data is an array with n elements. With n elements, this algorithm sorts the element. This algorithm sorts the element. This algorithm sorts the element. In data. Now, repeat step. Step number one. Repeat step. What? 
टू एन थ्री फॉर के इज इक्वल टू एम माइनस वन के इज इक्वल टू वन टू एम माइनस वन वाई वन टू एम माइनस वन वी नो दैट दैट केस टेन फॉर स्टेप्स सो नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स वी नो दैट टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स माइनस वन दैट्स वाई एम माइनस वन स्टेप नंबर टू व्हाट टू डू से पीटीआर इज इक्वल टू वन से पीटीआर इज इक्वल टू वन इनिशियलाइज द पास पॉइंट इनिशियलाइज द पास पॉइंट What is in my pass point here? Pass point of stand for every time. In every step, we are going to first level, first versus second, second versus third like this. Step number three. Four. Repeat while. Repeat while. What? P T R is more than your minus K. PTR is smaller than or equal to n minus k. Now you see, PTR is one. That's why n. That is number of elements and k. Step number one. So what will happen? PTR is equal to one to four. So one to four means it will come to four versus five if n elements are four. K. If that is PTR. Is greater than data as PTR plus one. Data as PTR plus one. Then what? PTR plus one. It means the first limit is greater than second. Then interchange. Then interchange. Then how to interchange that? We have to see. Interchange data as PTR. And that is PTR plus one. Now, here the end of if structure will be there because there is no else end of if structure. Now, B say. PTR is equal to PTR plus one. So what will happen if we go to two? Now two versus three, three versus four in this case. Here end of inner loop. End of inner loop. End of inner loop stand for this. And outer loop stand for end of inner loop. Inner loop stand for step three loop. Inner loop, and when inner loop finish, what will happen? It will go to there. K is equal to two. Again, in K is equal to two for step number two, PTR will become one and two one versus two, two versus three. But here n minus two that is three comparison should be there. So here end of outer loop and. When outer loop also finish, all the steps are finished. That is what it is. So this is the bubble sort algorithm. Now, in next period we will we'll see linked list, then trick, and the chapter will finish. So I think you have got it. Thank you.